Hello friends, in this video you will learn to make ATM program in very easy way. First step is to create header file. Here is our main function. Now we are creating our float variable name x and y. Two variable is enough for our project. Now we are creating one more character data type which is ch. This character data type used for choices from user. Then we show message on screen. Enter initial amount. So now we use scan app function to get input in our variable x. x variable hold our initial amount. After that we print another message on screen. Enter new line for credit. Again new line D for debit, again new line and B for balance, again we take scan up and get user choice, now we use switch case and pass CH to switch. Then we enter our first case for C. So friends, you know that when you enter money to account, then a question display on screen. How much you want to enter in your account? For this purpose, we show message on screen, enter credit amount. We take scan F and get amount in our variable Y. So now we add credit amount to initial amount to credit amount and assign this value to initial amount. Now we are displaying message new amount. Now we use break statement to terminate code. Then second case for D, D for debit. Now we are displaying message, enter debit amount. Now we use scan a function to y. There is a problem. Imagine you have 5000 rupees in your account. If you enter 7000 amount in debit, for this problem, we apply if condition. If initial amount is greater or equal than debit amount, then after this we simply subtract the debit amount from our total amount and assign our value to x. Display one more message about our new amount in variable x. Then this statement work. Otherwise else statement work and display a message. Insufficient amount in your account. Now we use break case. Then we add our final case in B. Then we display message. Amount in your amount is equal to our variable x. Now we break code and add our default statement which is choose correct option for operation. It only work when user enter incorrect choice. As you can see there is a message enter initial amount. For example enter 5000 take first choice C enter credit amount here you can see total amount. Let's test our remaining two case.
as you can see our program work fine thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe